here at the National Air and Space Museum tonight, we are lowering the Spirit of St. Louis to the floor of the Boeing Milestones of Flight Gallery. And we will give our visitors a wonderful opportunity to see this remarkable aircraft up close in a way that normally they will not have a chance to. So it's a very rare opportunity. The Spirit of St. Louis is one of our most significant artifacts. It is the aircraft in which Charles Lindbergh became the first person to fly nonstop solo across the Atlantic Ocean in 1927. And that flight uh, really set the world on fire. Lindbergh flew his Spirit of St. Louis from New York to Paris, a distance of 3,610 miles in 33 and a half hours. It was very, very hazardous because he did it by himself. There was no communications of that time to speak of. And um, if he ever went down, he would have gone down in the middle of the, the North Atlantic. The fact that one man did it by himself, nonstop, really struck a chord with the nation and frankly, with the world. We got the plane in 1928, and since then, it's been suspended in either the Arts and Industries Building or here in our National Air and Space Museum. The work on the aircraft is part of the refurbishment of our Boeing Milestones of Flight Hall, which is due to be completed in 2016. While the aircraft will be on the floor, it will be looked at by our conservators and restoration technicians just to make sure the airplane is fine. Well, this really is a rare opportunity to get a close-up look at the Spirit of St. Louis. Uh, it hasn't been down to the floor for about 22 years. My primary concerns are the, are the condition of the fabric. Uh, we're noticing uh, tears in the fabric. Another one of our primary concerns is about the state of uh, preservation on the engine. This is our rare opportunity to really be able to deal with any kind of corrosion issues that may have developed over the years and basically give it a good preservation treatment that'll last for another couple decades into the future. I hope our visitors uh, will be able to see the aircraft in a new light with our new exhibitry and get up a lot closer to it than before, see it from different angles. It makes it more personal and perhaps even a more memorable experience. Well, the Spirit of St. Louis is a national icon. I mean, it's, it's one of the most widely recognized aircraft in the entire world. And it's important that we preserve it for future generations to really carry on that amazing story. This is what makes it fun. You can just see all the little, little details about it. <laughs> it's great. <laughs>